Okay guys, so let's go on to 18.2, buoyancy. And we're going to look at the buoyant force. This is, an, this is an upward force experienced by objects when they are either fully or partially submerged in fluid. Okay, upward force when objects are fully or partially submerged in fluid. Now, where does this force come from? Uh, in the previous section, 18.1, we saw that the deeper that you go into a fluid, there is this linear increase in pressure. Right? This, there's this linear increase in pressure. So an object over here, right, say this deep in the water, will be experiencing a pressure of this magnitude. Whereas if you go deeper, this, uh, th that same object will be experiencing a pressure that is larger and larger, right? Because it is this linear increase. Okay. Now, it is this difference in pressures, right? Th there's, the, there's a pressure there and then a larger pressure there. As you can see, there's this difference in pressures as you go down. It's this difference in pressure that is causing this upward buoyant force. So let's see what we mean by that. So imagine you take a brick and you submerge it in water. Okay. Now we know this is the point here is that here we have a fluid. We know that the pressure over here is lower than the pressure over there is lower than the pressure over there. And as I keep going deeper and deeper, the pressure increases as you go deeper. So you can imagine the pressure on this surface is lower than the pressure on this surface. So if we look at a free body diagram, we take the brick. There's our brick, the little center of mass there. What is acting on this brick? Well, we have, number one, we have gravity pulling down there, right? FG, earth on the brick, the force of gravity pulling the brick down. We've got the force of the hand that's pulling, the, holding the brick up, right? So we've got the force of the hand on the brick, okay? And then, so that is gravity and that's your hand. Those, those are the two forces there. Then we've got the force of the water on the bottom, which is up. Force exerted by water on the bottom surface. And then we've got the force of the water on the top surface. And this force on the top surface is smaller than the force on the bottom surface. So if we take those two forces and we compute the net force, we're going to get this guy here, the, the buoyant force, Fb. Okay? So the buoyant force is simply that upward force minus the, um, the downward force on the top. So buoyant force is, a, is the sum of forces on top and bottom surfaces. But now you're saying, but what about these forces here? Well, the, these guys on the side cancel each other out. Okay? They cancel each other out. So we're just looking at these, for, these pressures that are acting vertically. Okay? We will look at, a, at this in the next video.